I'll be showing you step by step how to add a countdown timer to your Shopify store. And we'll be doing this all using JavaScript. So there's going to be no external apps needed. In this video, I'll be adding it to the product page, but you can add this countdown timer snippet to anywhere on your Shopify store. So in terms of the overall steps, I'll be showing you the custom piece of JavaScript. I'll be giving you the link to go and copy that. And I'll show you exactly where to place everything and how to customize the end date of this countdown timer. So I'll leave a link in the description below. This comes from eComposer. And they've created a custom piece of JavaScript here and it's on this page here. And so you just have to copy all this, but I'll be going through this step by step. So let's start things off from the Shopify dashboard and we'll go and edit the code. So on the left hand side, I'm going to navigate to online store. This will open up my theme section. And before you make any changes, I'm going to recommend you hit these three dots and then go to duplicate. This is going to create an exact copy of your currently installed Shopify theme. As if you make any mistakes along the way, it's much easier to revert to an older version of the theme. So once you've done that, we'll click the three dots again and we'll go to edit code. So in terms of creating our countdown timer, first we'll create a snippet using the custom JavaScript code. And then from there, we can install that snippet on anywhere we want in our store. So I'll leave a link for this at the bottom, but essentially you wanna copy this piece of code here in between the lines where it says to copy this code. So I'm gonna copy it all here and it's step two on this tutorial. So once I have that copied, I'm going to go back to my code editor. I'm going to minimize these folders here, but we want to look for the snippets folder. I'm going to open that up and then click add a new snippet. I'm going to call this Shopify countdown timer. This is going to be the file name. And this is what we're going to be referencing when we call this countdown timer. I'm going to click done here. And then inside of this file, I'm just going to paste all that JavaScript that I just copied. Next, I'm going to hit save in the top right. And if you go to step three now on the link in the description, we now want to put this line of code anywhere we want this countdown timer. So I'm going to copy this piece of code here. I'll zoom in just so you can see what it looks like, but it's essentially a curly bracket and an end curly bracket. And it just says to include Shopify countdown timer. And this is what we named ours exactly, just to make things a little easier. And you can give it a title and an end date. So again, just going to copy that. And as mentioned at the beginning of the video, I wanted to go and put this on my product page. So if I go back to my code editor, I can search for product. Now it might be called something different depending on your Shopify theme, but you want to look for a section in the sections folder. And this one is main dash product. And for the sense theme, that is what the main product template is called. Now, if I take a look at my product page, I can see that I probably want to place it below the secure checkout width and above the description. So now that we know where to place it, we can go and find where it is. Now, again, this is going to really depend on your Shopify theme as the titles for the different classes can change. So it might take a little bit of searching and a bit of testing. I'm going to search for description and I can see when description show the description. And so I wanted to put it above here. So I'm going to create a space by pressing enter and I'm going to paste that code. I'm just going to format it a little bit so it looks a little bit nicer just by pressing tab. So it says to include the Shopify countdown timer and maybe I'll call this a Valentine's day sale. And as for the end date, I'll set it to March the 1st of 2024. Next, I'll hit save in the top right to finalize that. And let's go and check that things are loading. Okay. So when I reload the page, I can see it's not there. As mentioned, this can require a little bit of testing. And so if I go and cut this code out and I put it in the when description, that does seem to fix the issue just with the formatting of the theme. So if I click save again and I go and reload the page, it is now displaying correctly. And I can see there are 24 days, nine hours and 22 minutes until this sale is up. So to note, if you do want to change the end date, you will have to come into the code and manually change it here. And if you want to make any changes to, let's say the background color of this timer, you can do so in the Shopify dash countdown dash timer dot liquid file. So if we open this up here, let's try to just change the background color. If you scroll down in the style tag, it does say styles for timer in this comment. So we can go and change this background color. And this is a six letter hex code. So if you were to Google a hex color finder, this should show up by default on Google. So we can go drag around. Let's say we want it to be more of a red background. I could go and select that, copy this six letter hex code here, go back into my code, and then I can go and paste over the background, hit save, go back to the product page, 
reload it, I can see I've changed the background color. And it does require a little bit of CSS knowledge to go and change that. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much profit your store has actually made. That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store that's going to let you do one-click profit calculations. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations, including all your ad spend from your various ad platforms, your cost of goods sold, your transaction fees, and much more. It's going to give you detailed analytics and metrics so you can make smarter business decisions and understand your store's true performance. You can find this app in the Shopify app store by searching Profit Calc and looking for this logo in the top left. There's also a link in the description below to access the listing directly. It includes a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself so make sure you check it out. But in a nutshell here, we've gone and added a countdown timer to our Shopify store using just JavaScript. Now I pasted this on my product page, but you can go and paste it anywhere. And thank you to eComposer for putting this tutorial together. I'll leave a link for this in the description as mentioned. We can get the full tutorial here and all the code you need. But if you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. And again, make sure to like and subscribe as that really helps the channel out. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.